Welcome, welcome, Seshu. We, we've only been going for like 30 minutes, so, and I've only done like one important thing, which isn't important, like I've gotten one glyph of, of a quest that needs four. Solus, I take it you study <gasps> spirits. <gasps> I do. Back in my homeland, we I remember this conversation. So I have been told, the things they can be made to do are quite marvelous. You should see them. The Tavinta Imperium is not the safest place for an elf. Ah, yes. Point taken. It's funny that he doesn't say something about, you know, like, you keep elves as servants and you force them to do things and blah, blah, blah. But he, basically he says, Tavinta Imperium is the safest place for an elf. Why can't I get to where this area is? What's this? You arrive on that foraging. I left herbs you asked from the cleft of the rock near camp. Get started on brewing and I'll see you for rabbit. For supper. Rabbit? What? Yes, we killed the Halla. Don't bring it up, okay? <laughs> Sarah doesn't hate the elves because they're elves. She, she hates that they cling to a past that is long gone. It's true. She will break up with you if you think the Temple of Mythal stuff is real? Like, if you're romancing her? Oh my gosh! I was actually curious, because I know she gets really upset with you almost no matter what you do if you don't... If Because I remember trying to be like with Sarah, I was like, I was like, I was like, you know, what if... What if it is real? Like, we don't... Ooh, nice. Crude herb manual. Cool. Um, I was like, you know, I'm like, I, I just tried to have a live and let live thing. I was like, well, it's fine if people believe things and it's fine if they don't. But she was just adamantly like, no, like, you know, the Dalish elves are idiots. And I was like, oh, well, okay. It was a bit disconcerting. Oh my gosh. I hate trying to find anything and just move everybody move. But if I walk up that way, where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go down. Why am I having troubles? I don't know why I'm having troubles. It's been a while. But you can say to her that you believe this stuff is real, but you will drop any interest you have in it for her because she means more than your interest in ancient elves. Yes, no, and I don't like that about Sarah, that she doesn't at least respect that people can believe what they want to believe. I understand that the underlying problem is that she thinks they're being stupid, and in many ways they are. And, and having, like, w having listened to Sarah and Solus a lot, like, um, there are times where I sympathize more with Sarah's point of view than with Solus's, and I never thought I would be like that. But it's true that, like, the Dalish elves, especially after I read the books and I realized, like, how narrow-minded they can be sometimes. And, like, but, but the thing that you shouldn't have, like, they should, they shouldn't have to give up their culture or their ideology. I mean, like, you know? And you shouldn't have to give that up for the person you love just because she's insecure about it, you know? You don't have to make her like it, but she doesn't have to make you not like it. Like, I don't know. Oh, is it this thing? Oh, yeah, I remember this letter. Really? She grows up in Trespasser. You have a good enough friendship? Wow. That's cool. I don't- I didn't have a good enough friendship with her. I was sad. What? No! Oh, it's not here, apparently. It's further. Whatever it is. Uh, can I get up here? Oh my gosh, look at this! Never been up here! Wait. Oh, there it is! Oh, wow! Cool. Treasure map. I know, Sarah... Sarah's a complicated character, and in many ways, I think people, like, and I, uh, I didn't, I, she, her and Vivian, Vivian, I actively 
didn't try to be friends with in my first playthrough. I've since subsequently learned to have great respect for Vivian and her opinions and I, I her strength and I value her input. But in Sarah, I want me, her to like me, but I just can't seem to get her to like me. <laughs> I'm like, dang it! Except with like two other characters. Freaking. Well, no, this is the actual shrine. I don't, I, I can't, I, the shrine is useless to me right now, isn't it? Um, oh, okay, well we'll just, well, I guess we'll go in. Because there are already dudes in there! Die, dudes! Bam! Dang it, I missed. Oh wow, you are dead. Oh, you are not dead. Ooh, Sarah, Sarah was your first ferment. Well, that was a romance for your first, for your Canary Rogue. I, I am gonna romance Sarah someday because I feel like, well, and with two of my other characters I've, I've gotten, for some reason she's palsies with my human and with my mage elf that I've got on the side. Um, but I can't for some reason make her like me in any of these ones, but, um... But I, I've actually come to understand her character a lot more being friends with her. The glyph's inside, all right. True, that's true. She is much younger than everybody else. She does, she looks younger, but she doesn't at the same time. Like, she looks very capable, and I think sometimes that that might trick people, you know? How to heal, herbs and magic. We owe much to Siles. Man, it kind of just bums me out that like the gods aren't exactly the gods and everything. Like I, I like, I like, like uh, I like pantheons. Like, ooh, hey, look at that. I like that kind of thing. I think they're cool. They're interesting. They tell you a lot about the people who worship them, but. Maybe it's just telling you, like, oh, we make our own gods. Like, there's a philosophy that, you know, it's like, we make our own gods type thing. Which makes sense, but I just can't wait until they take down the maker. It's gonna be awesome. Like, that's what I feel like they're leading towards. They're leading towards... They're tearing down everything else in the world. All the other beliefs and all the other um, institutions, and they're just... There's one more left. And I can't freaking wait. I've seen the picture of Dorian without his mustache, and I freaking liked it. Oh, Larry. <laughs> you watched Sarah die for you without a second thought. That is true. I, I don't know if I've actually brought Sarah yet. And you got married. It's true, Sarah Sarah is human trained for our it's true. She she hates elves because they're always trying to make her be more elvy. Um, even like city elves, they've got the tree, right? And and they, they 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 think very highly of it and they have their own few ways and I think it's important to be to you know, to, to have whatever cultures you have, like Valana in Awakening. She says, you know, like humans have their stories, but you know, the elves only have a few, but every child can result, you know, every human child can recant some stories, and, and it helps create a culture and a people, but I think you're right, Embu. Sarah just wants to be people, she doesn't necessarily want to be, and I, I never got the impression that she wanted to be human. Um, I think you're right, though, that's a good distinction to make, that she wants to be people. She doesn't want to be judged for her ears, she wants to be judged for her deeds. She doesn't want to be judged at all. She just wants to be live, you know, live and let live, basically. Whoa. Whoa, more ancient elven robes! So let's, let's see. I, these are probably not as good. Sacrilege! Don't a He actually looks very, very attractive. I'm not fond of the black wall removal, the mustache thing. I don't think that looks very good. I do love black wall in the low ponytail. I think that looks fantastic. Um. Wow. Yeah. Not as good. Dang it! Should have done this sooner. What level? 
You need to be level 8. Dang it. All for all, I'll just have to sell those. There's nobody else who can wear them. <sighs> I have no room. Ring of Doubt. Enter stealth and not attacking during combat. You are a deadly threat to any. I can't see you coming. <sighs> He was forced, a young Tavidra Magister forced into an arranged marriage and chanted this his wedding ring with the power of invisibility. How did Sarah feel about the hero? Sarah, Sarah says Grey Wardens are the wrong way round. I remember specifically, Sarah's, the things Sarah says are so interesting. She's kind of like Cole in a way, but like she says that, you know, Grey Wardens are the wrong way round. They're the heroes that come that mean a bad thing's coming. Not the heroes who have come to save you, you know, the, not the bad thing came first and then the heroes came to save you. Um, it's the, it's the other way around and like nobles will take your crap so that they can give it to wardens, you know, and she, I think she likes Grey Wardens. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure she approves if you keep, if you keep the wardens, um, because she likes Blackwall too. He just looked at Blackwall out of beard and OMG. I know. Seshu, it's the hidden brother. Forget. Yes. Dorian's his secret brother or maybe cousin. <laughs> he looks good. You think he looks good? I think he looks strange. Sarah doesn't remember the hero of Ferel. I was kind of curious if she remembered the hero of Ferelden or not. I don't think she ever specifically says anything about the hero of Ferelden. She's, she seems ambivalent about Grey Wardens. Like, that they are necessary in some way, but I've never actually brought her with me. That would be interesting. I'm going to wear this ring. What? Hold up. What? What? Mage only? What? What? Ah! Freaking Dorian, you want a wedding ring? <laughs> I'm gonna give Dorian a wedding ring! <laughs> Let's see, what did I have? Enhanced fire mine and enhanced walking bomb. Ooh, shoot, those are both good ones. I think... I think I'll take off the fire. <laughs> I'm gonna give Dorian a wedding ring! <laughs> Ooh, toss that. I don't want it. And toss that. And that. And that. And that. <laughs> uh, did we pick up anything extra super de duper de cool? Nope. Nope. Oh, also valuables. Um, go that way. And that. What's that from? Her red woven bracelet. Looks like it was drawn by a child. Hmm. Ooh, you did it! Mage only stealth ring. I'm very upset. <laughs> okay, I wanna see. I wanna see. So only I can see his pretty Exactly, Lemon Z, an engagement ring that puts him in stealth. So only I can see his pretty face. And then I'll go into stealth. And then we'll just go around the corner and have a good time. <laughs> Yes! Oh my gosh! Yep! No! <laughs> no! I am looking at the black wall picture and I I just... No! No! I mean... No! <laughs> it's okay! It's not bad, but at the same time, it, I think it's... I think you're right. It's like, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's weird. Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I love Blackwall's beard. And then when, like, your because my, my human character is romancing him. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and I love that romance to pieces. It's like Solus, except the redemption happens in this game and isn't hinted at for the next game. That's why, one of the reasons I really like Blackwall's romance. You can redeem him in this game and make things better. You prefer it, really, Lemon Z. I can, and it would maybe take me a little bit. I, I, it's not bad, and if I just saw him as that, it would be fine. But since I've seen him with the beard, 
But Dory with the mustache, though, he looks much younger, and he's very handsome. I, I like that one for sure. Um, but... I was saying something else, I can't remember. Oh, no, Blackwall says, he's like, well, it looks like the beard isn't messing you up. Looks like the beard, the, the beard doesn't bother you as much as I thought it would. Like, if you go kiss him, like, three times in a row, Blackwall's like, looks like you're not as bothered by the beard as I expected. <laughs> and I was like, ah! <laughs> the beard is too long. <laughs> She does! She does! Sarah does ask him about the beard, Larry. That's right. No, you don't like the Dorian one, though? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> what? Let me see. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, I wouldn't... Ch I, w I probably wouldn't, wouldn't use it, but I like it. It's true, Sarah. The Sarah one is funny. She's like, do all Grey Wardens have beards? And he's something like... He's like, no, I took them all or something. It's really funny. I love Blackwall and Sarah's relationship. With my canon character with Erica, I brought those two out towards the end. I started bringing them out more. And they are so cute. And they mess with Solus so bad. It is so funny. I love it. I love how much they mess with Solus. You're tr it's right. If anyone else had that mustache, they would look like a pervert or something. They would look like a perv or a creep. Or, or something, but, but, but Dorian manages to pull off the beard, or the mustache, very well. Merchant. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's just travel there really quick. Oh, I guess we could have seen, by, by, by seeing this guy not here, we know that we had enough to make frenzies with the Dalish. Uh, Emmeline, is it you? Thank you for finding Valerie. I hope he passes peacefully into the beyond. I found this talisman. I think your brother was looking for it. You should have it. Lindarani's talisman. It, it exists. Her sword, Evanura. I would love to have Evanura. But in the story, her talisman was saved and hidden. This will mean so much to our people. Thank you. I know, I'm so happy! Like, I feel like Talon, like, when he picked it up, probably would have been like, oh my gosh, like, I have found it. I found this legend of our people, you know what I mean? Like, it would have been awesome. And he probably would, I mean, like, you know, he would have, so I don't know how Solos probably would have reacted, but I think he would have been, ex like, Talon would have been excited to show it to, to Dorian, too. You like the short beard, Frog Raider? I agree. I actually really like the, like, more, um trimmed beard on on black wall i've seen that one and i like that one i agree the, uh, yeah oh yeah i know where that place that place I, rem I remember where that one is what i have two of the glyphs why is it showing up with three strange <laughs> I actually really like the glyph quest. I don't know why. I, I enjoy running around to the elven ruins and, like, finding the glyphs and finding little pieces of elven history. It's one of my favorite thing. one of my favorite quests to do. It's simple, but I like it. I like coming across, like, old elven ruins. It's nice. And just little ones, you know? Like, nothing big. Just little ones. And I like it. Fate touched obsidian! Yes! That's the guard one. The guard on hit. It's the best. It's the best. You dead! You so dead, guy. Going into stealth. Going into stealth. Oh, dang it. I tried to do the... Thing, but he died before I could do it. Oh, you can get four out of the five? Oh, there's five glyphs? Oh, okay. Well, I, I will get them all. At Holland. Holland Sulan! Holland Sulanin. Dang it. Thought I had it. I had it in my head just a second ago. Okay, but there is also, 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 
Where is it at? Here it is. There is something up here, right? Or is it just down? Is there only the one down in the actual, like, courtyard of the ruins? <gasps> A lot of the fantasies have different properties? No! The obsidian one has to be the guard on hit! No! I did actually notice that, I think, a, a little while ago, that, like, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it definitely... Cassandra, if you would please. Yay! I love having Cassandra do that, it's the best. So, look at Dorian! Dorian's all invisible! Hi, Dorian! Dorian! Dorian, your skirt is also invisible. You're, like, super invisible. Merkel's first. Wait, hold up. What's this? Searching the R for adventure stuff in Dragon Age. Inquisition makes you really hyped for Dragon Age 4. Oh my gosh! That armor! Does anybody- is this concept art for Inquisition? Does anybody wear that in Inquisition? I really like, um, I, I do get on tum Tumblr every so often, and, uh, I really like to see, um... Oh, shoot, what was it? What was it? Haha, <laughs> everything's gonna be black and edgy, like Fenris, so I mean it. <laughs> Shoot, there was, there was a reason I brought up Temple. It was like art for Tevinter. Tevinter. Something Tevinter. Shoot. I can't remember now. Dang it. Oh, I really like seeing Tevinter stuff too. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I already destroyed you. Excellent. Ooh, Solas, that looks cool. Enough. I like Solas when he says, enough. And he just, whoosh. I like it. Oh. So, okay, yeah, concept art for Inquisition. I freaking love it. And I, I just, oh, no, okay, it's super popular. There are people, they're like screen archers, right? And they, uh, they take pictures of... Like, even just little things in Inquisition, and I love it. It's so cool looking. Like, they they find, like, um, like, that, like they'll do close-up pictures of, like, Red Templars. Or close-up pictures of, like, the dwarves or anything. They take, but I really like... Your earlier judgment of the Seekers was unfair, Dorian. Oh? Were they not responsible for keeping peace with the mages? And what would you say if one judged to Vinter solely on the actions of some of its magisters and slavers? Yes, let us dismiss your homeland as not having a single redeeming quality. The Seekers failed, without question. But the situation was complex, and you well know it. Oh, Cassandra, laying the smackdown! Good for you. No, okay, we can we can pick the embryum. A pair of hands cupped around the moon. It's the Altus Mage. Wait, 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 wait. Was the first link concept art for Venatori? I know, right, Frog Rider? <laughs> Isabella's, you can take out that spiky armor? It's been known to happen. Well, then, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, buddy, well, then, she knows exactly what she wants. You gotta know that about Isabella, though. She always knows exactly what she wants. Hey, there's a fly in my room, and it's bothering me. City in. I don't have room for whatever's in this. A gold horn? Give it- what is that? Give it- give it to me! What is it? They- there was like seven objects like that in Trespasser that they had no use, no discernible value. Uh... Mm. Oh, 
Oh man, I love, I just, I have the art book for Inquisition. I'm looking at the Tevinter stuff that you've got up. And, oh my gosh. Wow, somebody put all this together on that last picture. They put together all of like the Tevinter concept art. I love the Tevinter art. It's fantastic. I mean, that's not, that is why I have it in my main hall is decorated in the Deventer style because it is awesome. I love it. It looks really cool. Mosaic piece. Plant. Dorian, what you looking at? I love these altar planes. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, I got my mouse over there. No, I, I'm really hoping that we do get to visit Tevinter. Well, and it seems like it, it, it's they're very much hinting that we're going to Tevinter, which would be awesome. But there are still so many places I'd love to explore in Inquisition, too. Like, I mean, what's beyond the sea? Like, like oh my gosh, you know? Like, there's all kinds of stuff. There's so many, there's so many, like... Go! I really want to be an Aval. I want to be a Chasin or something. You know. I'm gonna poke that one, and I'm gonna stop by that one, and maybe I can still find that one afterwards. Boop 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 boop. boop. Apple cider! Oh, freaking apple cider! A fog warrior companion. Ooh, that would be good. There's there's so many things. That's the thing about Inquisition. It doesn't, it doesn't really need to jump around its timeline much. Like, I don't really feel the need to, like, go back and explore, like, the first blight or anything. There are so many lands to explore in Inquisition, the current timeline, that, I mean, we'll be set forever, you know? Like, I'm excited. I'm excited to explore everything. I can't even... Um, freaking, where, where the Canary are from, like, Saharan and stuff. Ravain, Ravain would be so cool, like, oh, wait, I missed the other one. Where's the other one at? Okay, this one, the one, the one right behind me is easy to find. I know where that one is. Parval, yes! Like, freaking, it's like, um, it's like, um, ah! Oh, it's underground. That's right. Is it? Yeah, because you can go underground here. Um, it's supposed to be like jungle temples, like, uh... I can never freaking remember the name. I was trying to mention it in... Peruse the library in Villa Mario. Dearth of Arin. It just, it aggravates me that there are, oh, Allow yes, my bad, know. my bad, it, it aggravates me that there are people just going in and not only are they not elves and messing with this stuff, but they don't even care about the, about learning anything, like they're just, they're just tearing ruins apart, trying to find power. Yes! One grips a heart in his talons. The other. That looks like all of them. We'll see what the researchers at Skyhold. Ooh, make. Talon was talking! I just saw Talon talking! That was cool. Oh, you're back! Back! Natalie's back! Considering it's holding a current invasion, invading Avenger again. Oh, uh, you know, Saharan, we might be getting to Saharan. Parvolan would be so cool, though. An elven curse in the land. Hmm, traders can get into Parvolan, though, can't I remember Sten in Origins, I remember he was talking about, um... He would talk to, or no, it was in it was in one of the books I think, one of my lore books that I have that it talks about a young curious Kunari 
Hey, what, what, what was up with the one with the glyph that was like here? Was there somewhere underground I can go? Yeah, Sarah on the... Ravain is, is a jungle too. Like Ravain, Ravain was disputed for a while and is still, you know, culturally under dispute. Um... But yeah, Parvolin, Saharan, they're all... Well, and then there's like, where did the Canari come from? Hey, did you miss anything? We're talking about jungles, glyphs, and beardless black wall pictures. And you're right, Frogger. I'm trying to go back to Skyhome. And um, we're just talking about the next game because we're all like thirsty for the next game. And... Tevinter pictures. Lots of pretty Tevinter pictures that were linked. I'm going to crack open a vanilla Coke. Uh, oh, yes. And mustacheless Dorian. I'm going to pause the recording really quick. <laughs> 